Okay, I wanted to give everybody a look at my 50 cal Beowulf. It's got a 16 inch barrel. I think that's a 12 inch uh, handrail. Um, and then the muzzle brake on it. And that's a must on this thing because this thing will kick like a 12 gauge shooting slugs, basically. Um, the muzzle brake helps a lot. The muzzle brake's like two inches long in this thing. And it's a stainless steel barrel. And uh, I just got like a 2x red dot on it. And it shoots really accurate. Huh? I usually shoot it up to 100 yards, 150 yards. I'll go up to 200 yards with it. You can see where I had to uh, just cut the upper to make it so the shell would fit in there. You, I still got to fix it up and, and uh, I'm still testing it. So I haven't totally finished it up and re-blackened uh, everything. But uh, so far, um, the problems I've had with it were it wouldn't chamber. And I thought it was a headspace issue, um, but it wasn't. It was a uh, it was a ammo issue, and it was with the uh, the factory ammo you can get from uh, was it Anderson? Oh, the ammo. I got some. Uh, Oh, Alexander Arms. That's what I was shooting. Um, it just wouldn't go in the chamber. Um, just like a blackout would, sometimes it won't go in the chamber. Blackout's got a, a different problem with uh, with why they don't chamber. They got headspace and uh, cartridge issues where you got to check the length of your uh, your um, your cartridge. And everything and use a, head, uh, a gauge a length gauge and all that for your blackout but this one was having issues where you, if any of the the ammo you have it looks like the case is bulged you know when they put the uh, the bullet in you got to make sure you crimp that again because that's what's happening it's going in and it's if it's not crimped real good the the 50 cal bail will, will not chamber properly. It won't go all the way in. It's like it, it goes in and then you try and get it out and it's it's hard to pull that bullet out of there if it's not crimped real good because it's just too big for the chamber. So I've been doing my reloads and, uh, and just I crimp them as hard as I can. And so far I haven't had any issue since. The only other issue I had was... Um, it was the ejector was not ejecting the ammo properly some of that might um, well it wasn't because of the crimping but I had to modify the ejector a little bit um, because what happens is is when um, let me get around here and kind of show you and we'll just use my 308 as an example here. Um, the round, as it was, you know, in there in the ejector, and you know how it's supposed to come out, like, kind of like that, and the spring pushes it out, and then it's supposed to flip out. Well, the ejector was actually not letting it. It was like hanging up on the end on the rim of the cartridge and it was like not letting it come out it was like kinking in there so I had to uh, I had to just um, wire wheel it real good and file it just a little bit so the round was able to flip out and not get caught up on that and then I made sure it wasn't catching anywhere around here either. I just smoothed it all out on my... Uh, and it does take the AK-47. And I've used both the one for the Beowulf 50 cal and the AK-47. They are pretty much the same. I just had to um, modify the ejector a little bit. And um, I think I modified this part here. I ground this down a little bit because um, something was going on. And I could see that it something was hitting like right on this part of the ejector 
So when I, I ground this down, just rounded it off, radius basically. Then this thing started, they started flipping out. I don't have any ejection problems anymore. Um, once in a while I'll have feed issues and now I'm down to where all it is is the mags. And I have to, uh, um, like everyone else with a Beowulf, we've got to uh, um, open up the mag lips a little bit. And I've got a couple mags that run real good and a couple mags that that don't and I'm trying to figure out which way to bend the mag lips and open them up and see if I can get it to feed in a little bit better without messing up and but um after I did that ejector stuff and um I ended up opening up the uh the port on the upper more than what even people said online I opened it up down a little bit and up and of course you can see I'm not done with it I'm gonna smooth it all out and then I'm gonna take the aluminum black and blacken it all up so it looks factory again but yeah that's uh, you can see right there where my shells are hitting so it's flipping them back just fine now so um, and this thing is accurate I mean it's within an inch uh, at pretty much any range it at uh, 150 yards it's pretty much dead on you know you just gotta raise it up like six inches on the uh, on the red dot there and uh, it'll hit and when you get out to 200 yards it it kinda opens up a little bit but I mean it's a 50 cal and uh, I haven't really uh, gotten any good loads for it yet that I know are like better than like factory loads to shoot yet I'm just beginning with this gun so when I get a good a good load built up I'll uh, put it on at least put it in the notes so people can see what uh, what's shooting real good out of these guns and you know, I got 300 grain 335 grain I don't have any of the, like, the bigger 400 or 450s or anything but I will eventually but uh, yeah, I actually lightened up the, my reloads on this a little bit so they don't kick as hard, and they seem to shoot more accurate. Um, and with that muzzle brake on there, and it's a must on this, these Beowulfs, that it, it was kicking worse than my 12-gauge shooting slugs. And, you know, whenever you shoot slugs, they, it you don't want to shoot that many. But I would shoot like 20 at a time when I was testing this thing and man my shoulder was getting hurt I actually bruised my shoulder on it once because I uh, I didn't have a butt pad on it I got one on there now I just glued one right to the back screwed and glued it, glued it right to the back of my stock so um good gun I'm still working on it at least it shoots fairly uh, accurately um, well, really accurately, up to 150 yards. Anywhere you put the dot, it'll hit it at 100 yards down to 20 yards. You just put the dot on it, it'll hit it. It just straight. Um, anything over 100, then you got to start raising the dot up a little bit for the curve. And uh, and then at around 200 yards, it starts getting. It it does like a 12 inch gong. You can hit consistently with it at uh, 200 yards. So, you know, if you were going to hunt with it or something, 150 is probably about the most I'd push it. Maybe 175. I'm, You know, I can hit the 10-inch the gong at 175 pretty good. But I wouldn't be consistent in a headshot or anything with that at 175. Just maybe at 150 yards, which is a pretty decent shot for just about anything. So, um, but that's it. That's my, uh, my Beowulf. And, uh... I just wanted to get uh, let let everyone see it. All right, bye.